Hello, elementary friends. This is week two of our social emotional learning lesson. So last week we were talking about self-awareness and the indicator of emotions. So we did some things on feelings and emotions and kind of talking about how to express those feelings and emotions. So I really wanna do a quick check-in with you. And the check-in is just me taking time to discuss with you how your week has gone. And so you have here this feelings chart. And on it, it has some scared, happy, sad, angry, excited, frustrated, um, worried. It has surprise, silly, and and some other things. Maybe they're not on here that you may be feeling. But what I want for you to do is I want you to take a moment and really check in with your feelings to see how you this week has been for you. So I'm going to say this week for me has been a little busy and I've been a little um, frustrated at times, but I'm working through those feelings and emotions. And one thing you're going to know about this pleasure is that I'm going to be honest about feelings so that you understand that adults have these feelings as well. But today I'm feeling a little more excited and um, ready to just move on to our next lesson. So what we're gonna talk about this week regarding self-awareness is strengths. And strengths are those things that you do well. So I want you to stop and think for a moment and think about those things that you know that you do well because there's always things that we do better than other things. Those things that we don't do so well are called our weaknesses. But our strengths is what make us unique and happy. So I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to share my screen and, and I'm going to show you a video that is going to help explain um, these things that we call strengths. Call me Miss Meg, your social emotional learning coach. Today we're going to discuss self awareness and using your strengths. With self awareness, you learn to appreciate your unique strengths. You should be able to name your strengths, understand how to use your strengths, and practice having a growth mindset. Look at a scenario. Brayden is an amazing dancer. He's been dancing since he was two years old. Dancing is a strength of natural for Brayden. Know your strength. What is your top strength? What comes naturally for you? How do you use this strength on a daily basis? Own your strength. So during that video, she asked a couple of questions and I want to, you to think about the answers to the questions that she asked. One was, what is your top strength? So what do you think is the one thing that you're really good at doing? Two, what comes naturally to you? Like what comes easy to you? Easy means, like in the video, dancing came easily to um, Brayden in the video. So that's his natural talent. And then how do you use your strengths on a daily basis? Like, so if you're really good at writing, for example, how do you use that daily? So I want you to stop for a minute, pause the video, and again, I want you to think about what is your number one strength? 
what do you do naturally? And then three, what do you do on a daily basis that shows or expresses that talent that you have? Okay, we're back. I hope you were able to take a few minutes to kind of think about that and really talk to your parents and your siblings or whoever around you about what those strengths may be. Now we're going to take some time and we're gonna do a mini activity. So if you are in kindergarten through second grade, I want you to take out paper, blank paper like this. And then I want you to fold it. And I want you to make a book. And this book is a all about me book, okay? So it's all about your talents and your strengths. So you are going to create a book. Everything that you're good at, I want you to put in the book. You can write in the book or you can draw your talents or your strengths in the book. And if you are in third through sixth grade, I want you to grab a piece of paper and I want you to write on there three things you like about yourself. So what are three things you like about yourself or that you're really good at? So again, pause the video, take some time, work on this. And even if you don't get finished during our time together, it's okay. You can come back to it later. See you in a few minutes. We're back. And I'm hoping that during that time and that lesson that you did, you realize that you have many strengths. And for my, um, Third through sixth graders, you can add more to that list. If it's more than three things, go back later and say, oh, I remember I'm good at teaching my brother how to ride a bike, or I'm really good at um, helping other people. Add to that list. And the same thing with your books, K through two. Add more pages to your books. If you have a lot of strengths and a lot of things that you're good at, then I want you to take that time and I want you to Create that book because it's your book to go back to. And in those times when you're like, oh, I'm having a difficult time with this, go back and say, oh, but I am good at this. So how can this strength help me with the things that I'm not so good at? Okay. So today I want to leave you just with a small quote that I really, really like. So I'm going to share my screen again. And the quote that I have here, it says, nothing can dim the light that shines from within you. I'm going to say that again. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within you. Maya Angelou. Remember that. Remember that your light can shine as bright as you want it to and that your strengths are those things that make you shine bright. See you later, friends. I will see you next week. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week of learning. See you later.